I'm going to show you guys this custom LEGO Highway Barricade Transport Truck, which has a rear-mounted crash attenuator. That's a mouthful, but let's get started. So this truck is is based off many that exist in real life, and there are some variants that'll have a, more of a conventional style compared to the cab over cab. Some will be, the, you can get these on dump trucks, these attenuators can be trailers, there's a lot of different designs, including ones with like curved um, tubing. This one's designed though, so that there's these cubby pockets where a driver, a, per a passenger can sit and they can pick up or throw down road cones and throw them in the back here. I also have a linking barricade system, which I just, I just tried designing and it works pretty well. So let's take a closer look at all of that. Now the front cabin is a pretty simple design, but I did try to vary it a little bit by mounting the headlights a little off compared to the grill and a few other small details. I mean, it's pretty basic and simple. I also did do the technique that puts it so the front tires are, they're, they're thinner than the rear, so they have a bit more of a realistic dually effect. Besides that, it's pretty standard city fare inside and out, so nothing too crazy, or at least designs I've used before, such as this fender technique. Nothing too special. Now the back of the cabin is again the area where we have on both sides there's these pits and on the inside there's small steps to get up into the, the middle section so you hop in the rear. There's also a metal grate on the across the back of the cab protected and some work lights. These are based off actual designs I've seen on real trucks. The rear hair contains two different kinds of barricades. We have traditional road cones. These are uh, very loved in the Utah state of Utah. Normally they're a little bit, they should probably be the base is a little thinner. There might be a better way to do that or the cones themselves a little thicker. Utah notoriously known as the, as the orange cone state, at least to those who live inside because it always seems like there are parts of it that are under construction. These cones are also freaking expensive, like 75 bucks a piece in real life. There's also these barricades and the concept behind them is that they can form curved barricade walls that can connect together like so and you know, their barricade walls. I mean, what else do you say about them? It's an interesting design concept. Um, I, I, I think it works pretty well. I mean, they're pretty plain. There might be a better way to do them. I'm not certain. But yeah, that's the kinds of barricades back here. You'll have all kinds of stuff, and some of the trucks will actually have a, also a, real, a rack above the cab that has cones because they can stack inside of each other, and then there's actually a compression mechanism. I actually have seen a builder who's modeled one of those. I have not tried that. I considered it, wasn't able to make one that worked that I liked, so I just did this instead. Now, the rear of the truck here is probably the most interesting area of the build, as we have a light directional bar, um, light grid, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm had a brain freeze for a second. Where on this, these all these bulbs can light up in different configurations, usually in caution triangle, well, diamonds, or in arrow directions, or something else. Some of these have more advanced ones that can also display messages. That's why this, again, this truck will like drive on the side of the highway, moving cones or picking them up or putting them down, so this will be directing traffic, and this would be, basically, these are designed to help prevent injury and damage to the truck and to crew members if a car rear ends into it. The idea is these have as sections that if they're collapsed can absorb a lot of impact. This is based around one design that I saw. Normally they don't have wheels underneath them, however this guy is so heavy it's only connected on with four studs, this rear end will pop off. That's one area I really need to improve on the next model. Another thing, they have these, they have triangular cross members, which for structural support. Now there's really no good way to model this in small scale. I tried hinges, I tried everything, couldn't get anything that looked good. So I figured out this technique, I think it's actually legal the studs aren't technically under stress. There's nothing, no plastic getting pushed in ways it wouldn't want to. And they're just wedged in there, and they actually ended up, they look really good. I mean, the, the clear pieces are a little obnoxious because you can see them against the black, but besides that, they look pretty good. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty basic, simple thing, but it works really well, and it folds up how it normally would. I'm pretty, really happy with that design. Anyways, actually. though, that's it. I really think want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment any thoughts. Like if you do, and subscribe if you desire to see more. As always, happy building, bye for now, and please, for heaven's sakes, do not actually ever put yourself in a situation where you could potentially rear-end one of these things. Drive safe.